binoculars and head outside because it's National Bird Day. The types of birds you see usually depend on the climate, landscape, and time of year. If you want to attract more birds to your yard, identify the species that live in your area, then look up what they eat and stock up your bird feeder with what attracts them. Yeah, according to the U.S. Uh, Geological Survey, there are about 50 bird species that are only found here on the islands. But today, most of them are either endangered or threatened. Experts at the Smithsonian say the biggest bird predator in the U.S. is actually domestic cats. Mm. Gotta watch out for them. They can wipe out billions of birds each year. Hmm. But it's not all bad news, though. Here's some good news. The EO, or the Hawaiian hawk, is a recent story of success. It was actually removed from the endangered species list just last week after it was uh, at risk of extinction for the past 50 years. Now, the EO only breeds on the Big Island. Good to see it back. And uh, thanks to viewer Donna Carey for this photo. She snapped Aww. of a Hawaiian hawk over on the Big Island. She has a farm out there in Hilo. So she named him Lono <laughs> and says he was drying off after some of those showers we saw in Hilo yesterday. Yeah, so close. So yeah. cute. And it's good to see them back out and about and uh, just hanging out there on the Big Island. Pretty Very cool. Good. Get to those uh, bird watching activities today. Yep. Well, this morning's top stories and a full hour of Island News starts right now. Now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Right now in Good Morning Hawaii, an urgent call for evacuations is now underway as massive wildfires burn out of control in Australia. Plus, some more traffic troubles for drivers on the windward side after part of the road slumps into the ocean following that heavy rain. And the Board of Water Supply is hit with a hefty fine after residents complain of dead fish in the Nu'uanu stream. Yeah, a lot to get to this Sunday. Good morning, Hawaii. Happy Sunday, first Sunday of 2020. Thanks for joining us for Hawaii's only weekend morning newscast. I'm Tom George. Aloha, I'm Annalisa Burgos. Thank you for your company. State sheriffs and Honolulu police are looking for a missing work furlough inmate. Yeah, 44-year-old William Brooks was supposed to return to the Laumaka Work Furlough Center by 6 last night. He's serving time for robbery and kidnapping, but now he's facing an additional escape charge when he's found. Take a look. Brooks is described as 5'7", 153 pounds. He has brown eyes, brown hair, but he usually shaves his head bald and has a goatee. Now, if you see him, you should call 911, or you can also call the state sheriff at 586-1352. The State Department of Health says dead koi fish led to it fining the Board of Water Supply more than $400,000. As KITV4's TJ Horgan reports, local environmentalists actually first alerted the DOH of the potentially hazardous situation. This is unusual in, in its magnitude. You know, it's a, it's a large um, enforcement action against kind of a, a government agency. In February of 2019, environmental activist Carol Cox began receiving calls from residents living near the Nu'uanu stream. They were complaining that their fish ponds were silted in and really serious silt and mud and killing the fish. They saw the translucent stream turn unusually brown and laden with thick mud. And this is just in two days. They couldn't get any answers from the Board of Water Supply. Carol Cox dug deeper. Yes, indeed, there was uh, something more than met the eye. Cox believed the mud was coming from Nuuanu Reservoir Number 4, managed by the Board of Water Supply. He alleged they were allowing dirt from the reservoir to escape into the stream. It, it can really damage kind of the natural ecosystem because the stream isn't supposed to be receiving that kind of load of dirt all at one time. The Department of Health investigated Cox's claims and agreed, yesterday issuing a notice of violation and order to the Board of Water Supply, which includes a $420,000 fine. The lowering of the water level as well as the dredging was all associated with the construction project that they were doing. The DOH alleges the Board of Water Supply released dirt from the reservoir into the stream. A sustained discharge of 15 days or 18 days of continuous discharge of, of mud basically through your dam. Cox says that mud didn't stop in the stream. It was carried all the way down to the ocean. Well, of course, you know, we we have coral and other precious uh, sea life that could be impacted by the silt and the mud and the debris. The Board of Water Supply said in an email they are reviewing the Department of Health's notice and have no further comment at this time. 15 years and I haven't seen many like this. TJ Horgan, KITV4 Island News. Well, Board of Water Supply consultants and contractors were also named in the violation notice. The DOH says they have 20 days to address the fine. Well, if you were on
on the H3 yesterday. This is what it looked like. Dozens of cars stuck waiting to go toward Kaneohe. A crash in the Harano Tunnel just before noon caused the slowdown. The Department of Transportation says eight cars were involved. And sticking with the windward side, traffic is down to one lane after the shoulder of Kamehameha Highway fell into the ocean. Starting this week, the Department of Transportation will close the Makai Lane in Haula, north of the Pokiwai Bridge, from 7 in the morning to 6.30 at night for repairs. Highways Division Deputy Director Ed Sniffen tells KITV4 the land underneath the road simply eroded away. Throughout this coast, um, we see a lot of erosion on the side. We've been targeting areas throughout um, to, to repair them. Um, however, because our contract is going to be out here uh, addressing the situation um, near Pokiwai, we're going to be bring, pulling them back towards um, the Kava side as well to address as many of the sites as we can. Now, Sniffen estimates that work will cost roughly $120,000. He expects it'll be completed by January 10th. Now, the highway's Malka Lane will still remain open and it'll be contraflowed during those repairs. Roundtop Drive is back open after fallen trees closed two portions of the road yesterday. The city and county of Honolulu says it happened shortly after 9 a.m. and forced the closure in the area of 4059 Roundtop Drive. About a mile down the road, the city says another fallen tree blocked the road at about 1.30 p.m. Well, starting today, commercial ocean recreation activities will be prohibited on Sundays and holidays at Maui County Parks. Those parks include Wailea, Polo, and Waiehu Beach Parks, along with several others. Mayor Michael Victorino hasn't decided yet, however, if permit fees will also change. All right, switching gears now to your weekend forecast. A live look outside. Beautiful sunrise there out in Honolulu. Allison, how's it going to be looking today? Hey, Tom, the sun's making its way over Honolulu, but we are expecting a good mix of sun and clouds and some wet and windy weather to wrap up our weekend. It's 74 degrees here with light winds coming in from the east at 7 miles per hour. Because of that mix of sun and clouds, the cloud coverage is keeping things cool. Current temperatures are in the mid to low 70s, dipping down to the upper 60s in places like Wahiwa and Lanai City. By the time the clouds clear up by our afternoon time, it should warm up to our low 80s. Light winds here in town, but double digits across the state. Trades could strengthen throughout the day to reach up to 30 miles per hour. So make sure you tie down any loose objects in your yard and watch out for flying debris as you head out onto the roads. Doppler radar not showing as much rain as we had yesterday. Most of it focused over windward and mountain spots like you can see it here on Oahu, lingering over the Ko'olau, some heavy pockets of rain over there. And for Maui County, some isolated thunderstorms near Hana with that rain stretching from Hana toward Haiku and Kapalua. The Big Island scattered showers expected all day long, especially for Hilo, that rain stretching all the way down towards South Point. So for today, we do have that morning rain and a mix of sun and clouds, like I mentioned, and breezy conditions could even push some isolated showers over to leeward ends. Daytime high is 79 to 84 degrees. And tonight, more isolated showers, like I mentioned, for those leeward ends, thanks to those strong winds with more trade showers in store for those windward and Malka spots. Overnight low, 69 to 74 degrees. Tom and Annalisa, I'll send it back to you. All right. Thanks, Allison. Well, new this morning, a pilot is dead after his homemade plane crashed near the Van Nuys Airport in California. The plane was a replica of the famous American World War II warplane, the P-51 Mustang. It's believed the pilot was the only person on board. There were no reports of injuries or damage to anyone on the ground. The FAA and the NTSB are investigating the cause of the accident. Well, some bad weather is to blame after a truck came crashing into a Pennsylvania home. Take a look at this mess. A Coca-Cola tractor trailer crashed right into the front of a house Saturday morning. Wow. Authorities say heavy fog prevented that driver from seeing a turn, and the truck slammed right into that house. Luckily, nobody was home at the time of that crash. The driver of that truck had minor injuries. Over in Australia, three fires have now combined to form a single blaze bigger than Manhattan. But that's only part of the problem. The country is bracing for what could be the most catastrophic day yet this bushfire season. The Prime Minister announced he's mobilizing the Navy's largest ship to evacuate people along the southeast coastline and deploying up to 3,000 troops as authorities try to rescue stranded residents by boat. 23 people have been killed in the fire so far, and more than 1,500 homes have been destroyed.
All right, we'll take a look at this. There's not much left of this luxury resort on Kangaroo Island. Multiple wildfires tore through the area. They are leaving destruction in their wake. That fire has been burning since December 20th. Thousands of acres of land are scorched as teams are on the ground there trying to assess the damage. Not clear right now just how much has been lost. Just heartbreaking seeing those uh, images out of Australia. Mm -hmm. And residents also doing their part to try and save animals in the flames path. These photos capture a firefighter hand feeding water to a thirsty kangaroo. Yeah, and even last week we saw some koalas, some bikers mm -hmm. helping them out. Just uh, sad to see all that. And, of course, uh, the family of the late crocodile hunter Steve Irwin, known for helping out animals as well in Australia, continuing that legacy of rescuing and saving animals in danger. Irwin's daughter, Bindi, and the rest of the Irwin family have now rescued and treated more than 90,000 animals, many of them injured in the devastating blazes. The Irwin family is caring for the patients at the Australia Zoo's Wildlife Hospital, which they own and operate. Nearly a third of of koalas in the state of New South Wales may have been killed in the fires. Mm. And actress uh, Nicole Kidman and country singer Keith Urban using their star power to help those firefighters in Australia. The couple posted on social media saying they're giving $500,000 to rural fire services. Kidman and Urban, of course, both native Australians themselves, they actually own a farmhouse outside of Sydney. To thine own self be true. And Pink is raising her glass and matching that half a million dollar pledge. Three fires combined yesterday to form a massive fire. At least 23 people have died in those wildfires. More than 1,300 houses have been destroyed in New South Wales alone. Definitely thinking of our friends uh, down under. Mm -hmm. It's good to see a lot of people stepping up to help uh, considering what's happening out there. So many people Definitely. affected. Definitely, yeah. Well, the time now, 7.09 a.m. Still ahead, police in Arizona bring some winter cheer to a sick toddler. Plus, after temperatures hit below zero degrees, Russian strongmen heading outdoors to test their strength. Time now, 7.09. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. We'll see you after the break. In business, success is in the details. It's why Dietrich is the preferred insurer for many of Hawaii's successful retailers, popular hotels, and celebrated restaurants. At Dietrich, we know the smallest details matter. That's why we're just as meticulous about protecting local businesses as we are about protecting people's cars. Call Dietrich or your insurance agent. My name is Kevin Nip, and I am the founder of Selective Stone. I was born and raised here on Oahu. A lot of my business came from the connections I've made through the years. Selective Stone is all about quality. We have a large variety of Maturo on island, which gives customers the chance to find exactly what they're looking for. Our mission is to supply attractive stone to the community. We look forward to satisfying our customers' needs. Selective Stone, Hawaii's leader in stone innovation. Learn more at SelectiveStone.net. St. Francis Healthcare System is creating something new and exciting. The St. Francis Kupuna Village in Liliha. The former hospital campus is being transformed into a health and wellness community for seniors and their caregivers. Featuring a skilled nursing facility and an array of physicians in different specialties. With future plans for assisted living and independent living and a senior community center. Call today for more information. St. Francis Healthcare System. Creating healthy communities for Hawaii's families. When you've been in an accident, the last thing you need to worry about is where to get your car repaired. So look no further than the top of the list and trust the first name in quality auto repairs, IAEA Collision Center. We work with your insurance company to take care of all your repair needs so you don't spend any extra time without your car. Great customer service, quality repairs, quick turnaround, and a warranty for your repairs. IAEA Collision Center, conveniently located in Kalihi on Kahai Street and on Kalani Street. Seven twelve a.m. on Sunday morning, time for our morning shakas. Today we're recognizing police in Arizona who stepped up in a big way to bring some winter cheer to a sick toddler. Yeah, when they learned that Quinn Walker's family couldn't make it out to see a recent snowfall, they decided to bring five tons of snow to her. The two-year-old was born with the left side of her heart missing and is just six days old, had her first open heart surgery. Now, most of the time, she's on oxygen, so a trip to see the snow would be a little tough for her, but the Gilbert Police Department decided to step up after Quinn's mom posted her disappointment on Facebook. Priceless. It's 
just overwhelming. So it's just to see her come out and have a smile and play in the snow and play with her brothers. We normally, you know, go sledding and make snowmen. She's had a chance to throw some snowballs at her brothers and um, do all that stuff here in Gilbert. Well, officers also dropped off this teddy bear, making Quinn's special day even better. Oh, what a great story there. And take a look at this. We were mentioning uh, how, speaking of snow, look how cold that is. That's Russia, where some Russian strongmen <laughs> used blocks of ice to challenge competitors in an outdoor contest. Russia has a long tradition of weightlifting and strongman competitions. And during the cold winter months, most of them head indoors. But this year, the man once considered the strongest man on the planet decided to try something a little different by pushing a combination of differently shaped ice weights and tablets. He says the key to success in the competition is training. Oh, never. You know, never a dull moment in Russia. <laughs> I, I, think I'll, I think I'll stick with warm weather and surfing competitions than mm. uh, freezing cold. Ice yeah. block weights. Yeah. All right, the time now, 7.13 a.m. Still ahead, a preview of what you can expect at this year's 77th Annual Golden Globe Awards. And coming up in sports, the Rainbow Warrior Volleyball team back in action after starting their season on Friday. We'll have all the highlights coming up in your morning sports report. We'll be right back. Time now, 7.13. We'll see you after the break. Start your day with KITV4's Maleko McDonald. Weekdays on Good Morning Hawaii. In Solid has been in business in Hawaii for 20 years. It specializes in fabricating solid surfaces, especially showers, ideal for bathrooms that can change as we age. In Solid has custom models for exact fits for any space. In Solid products are non-porous and seamless. This means no grout and no place for mold or mildew to grow. Contact us today for a free estimate at 808-676-5522. 808-676-5522. What did we decide on the flyers again? Uh, 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. I think we're going to swap over to over 75 years of savings and service. Well, we're just going to swap over? Yep. Pump the brakes on this, swap it over to that. Pump the brakes and uh, swap over? That's right. What, instead of all this I've already... Yeah. Well, what are we going to do with these? Keep it in your desk, um, save it for next time. GEICO. Over 75 years of savings and service. When it comes to affordable home furnishing, Ross, hands down, has the best deals on the island. Everything you're looking for, all in one convenient location. From living room, dining furniture, to bedroom sets, including remanufactured green beds. Giving you the feel of nationally recognized brands at a fraction of the cost. So much variety of prices, too low to ignore. Ross Appliance and Furniture will save you hundreds, guaranteed. Hawaii Kaholo in the Kabea. Our airport service is my Kailua. Imoa, I hope you do and from your heart. Our big on a discount service is for sure. Hai naia mai kapuana ea. Kawaii kaholo in the cab. We thank you to and from the airport with big discount. Go dial for to do to do to do the cab. Welcome back. We're wrapping up our weekend with another day of rain and strong winds. Forca trays are forecasted to be up to 30 miles per hour, but certainly double digits across the island. So make sure you tie down any loose objects in your yard and watch out for any flying debris as you hit the roads. Our winds are also whipping up our surf. We have a choppy waves for the east facing shores, five to seven footers there. That wind swell is going to get worse throughout our week. So just be mindful of that. It could reach near advisory levels by Tuesday and near warning levels by Friday. North facing shores, four to seven footers with the calmer conditions for the west and south. We are expecting a large northwest swell to roll in by Friday. We also have a small craft advisory in effect for all waters. It's been extended until Thursday evening with north and east winds up to 30 knots, seas around 12 feet. There's also a gale watch for the channels in between Maui County and the Big Island. Winds closer to 35 knots and seas up to 14 feet there, so just be mindful of that if you have a smaller boat. As for our Doppler radar, looking a bit drier compared to yesterday, Kauai County, a bit of isolated showers moving offshore to the south, but dry for right now. Oahu, more rain here along the windward coast and Malka spots with heavier pockets of rain along the Ko'olaus. Maui County, we have some isolated showers moving offshore near Hana with that rain stretching all the way toward Haiku and Kapalua. And on the Big Island, Isolated thunderstorms again along the windward coast, rain from Hilo, 
down to Pune and down to South Point. We are expecting a mix of sun and clouds, so by the afternoon, those clouds should clear up, giving us some warmer temperatures and more sunshine. Mahalo to Action Jackson for sending us this island pick. Your hiking forecast is a wet and windy morning with more sunshine this afternoon, like I mentioned. Although, because it is going to be very breezy, just watch your footing, and there could also be a chance of isolated showers for those leeward ends. Our daytime high is 84 degrees. That's a check on your weekend forecast. Now, here's Cody Krupp with your KITV4 Morning Sports. Friday night, the number one team in the country getting win number one on the season. And Saturday night, UH men's volleyball had that second victory in sight. What's up, everybody? Happy holidays and happy new year as Catch Before Island Sports is here. And with the change of that calendar year into 2020, it began that journey to a hopeful national championship. This team has all the tools to do it, and behind it is one of the best fan base in the country. So let's go to that second game against Charleston. They came out ready to rock and roll as Rocket Rado Parapunov with four big kills in the first set. And finishing the set in style, how about an ace to put it in the books, 25-18. And you can welcome Jakob Tella to the scene. He's had two very nice matches to begin this season for the sophomore. Five kills, 19 assists, and it was close early in the second set, but Colton Call took over. The pride of Maui finished with a team high eight kills. They took that set 25-16, so now time to give the fans in the stands an aloha ball finish. Well, that was not the final point, but soon after it was game set match, the Yulani School grad Cole Hoglin said, not in our house, it would finish up 25-17 to begin the new season with two sweeps. They are back in action Thursday night, 7 o'clock against Emmanuel to start the Racing Canes Rainbow Warrior Classic. And six now. And around, John Brown is going to look to pass. So now time for some NFL playoff football as Buffalo Bills quarterback catching a touchdown pass. Josh Allen trying to lead the Bills to their first playoff win since 1995. They had an early 16-0 lead to start the second half, but Houston, we had liftoff. They rattled off 19 unanswered. That was capped off by Deshaun Watson to Carlos Hyde, the go-ahead touchdown and also two-point conversion. So 19-16, but a 47-yarder for the Bills sends it to our first wide Wild card week in overtime since 2015. And both teams failed to score when they got the ball first until Washington to Deshaun Watson. Somehow got it away complete, and he's going to scoot all the way to about the 10-yard line, which is going to set up the Puno grad, Kaimi Fairbairn, for a possible 28-yard game-winning field goal. For the win in overtime to advance the Texans. The local boy knocks it through, and well, up in the air goes Fairbear, and the game winner as Houston. They are moving on to play Kansas City by a final of 22 19. Yet of another Super Bowl run for Tom Brady and the Patriots. Or will it be the end of the Tom Brady era in New England? And well, Tennessee, they're about to take a halftime lead as not only did Derrick Henry rush for 182 yards, but that 22-yard catch put him at the one, and he's going to punch it in from the one. So 14-13, Titans at the break, and same score fast forward. 15 seconds left. And yeah, there's going to be no more Brady in this playoffs. It was tipped pick for the pick six, the dagger, as Tennessee gets the victory, 14-13. They're going to play once in Baltimore next week. And Tom Brady, though, did say retirement unlikely. So now we go to Maui for round three of the Century Tournament of Champions. As this is, of course, the PGA Tour's first stop in this 2020 season. And headed into the final round today is going to be last year's winner. He's going to have the lead this year, Xander Shoffley at 11 under. And he's just one stroke up over Justin Thomas. We're going to have the final day coverage later today here on KIT4 Island Sports. But that's it for now. We'll send it more after the break. 
Use the Spectrum TV app and watch live TV anywhere around Hawaii, even on demand titles. Spectrum. First, they laughed at even the idea of virtual reality. Yeah, right. Then they laughed when people started strapping little TV sets to their face. Yeah, right. No way those last. And soon we'll look back and say, yeah, right. Because the next generation of gaming, whether it's VR, AR, or whatever R comes next, will all be powered by Spectrum's future-ready network with the fastest internet speeds available. So, practice those yeah rights now. Like this. Yeah, right. Spectrum, think forward. Living with diabetes can be overwhelming, but it doesn't have to be. Discover an innovative way to better manage your diabetes with Ekahi Wellness. We focus on lifestyle improvements in your nutrition, emotional well-being, exercise, and your medical management, all under one roof. Our team of passionate professionals partner with you and your doctor so you can live with more energy, increase time for work and family, and take control of your diabetes. Your first consultation is at no cost to you, so call us today. Hawaiian Financial Federal Credit Union. Through all of life's milestones, we're here for you, for life. Never stop chasing the story. Be committed to being there. We're glad you're okay. Oh, thank you. On the scene, wherever the story may be. You could hear the gunfire just around this wall. Always reaching higher together. We are very appreciative of partnerships like with KITV. KITV for Island News at 6 and 10. And World News Tonight with David Muir. Complete coverage of the islands and the world. Accurate weather forecasts with meteorologist Pete Caggiano on KITV4 Island News. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Welcome back. Time now, 724 in Hollywood tonight. Award season kicks off with the 77th annual Golden Globe Awards. Yeah, the party is starting up. As Abby Boudreau reports, some stars are already rehearsing their acceptance speeches. Prepping for tonight's big show means rolling out the red carpet as award season is officially underway. Ricky Gervais on hand to kick off the festivities. He's returning as host for the fifth time. Relax, I'm going to try and be nice. Show producers excited to bring the comedian back to the stage. You never know what he's going to say. I think we're always a little nervous with Ricky, <laughs> but that's what makes him Ricky. Moet and Chandon will be providing the bubbles on one of Hollywood's biggest nights. So wait, they get the minis on the carpet. Yes, we'll serve. Moet will serve 1,500 minis as people arrive on the red carpet. That's where the party starts. And this year, presenters set to grace the stage include Jennifer Aniston, Zoe Kravitz and Rami Malek, Brad Pitt and Reese Witherspoon. Eight-time Golden Globe winner Tom Hanks will be honored with this year's Cecil B. DeMille Award. Ellen DeGeneres will also receive the Carol Burnett Award. But who will make it to that stage as a Golden Globe winner? Critics saying Brad Pitt could win for his role in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Are you an actor? No, I'm a stuntman. And Wait, silver screen powerhouse no, Charlize Theron for Bombshell. You do understand I have to be above this, right? Up for Best Actress in a Drama alongside Renee Zellweger Dream for Judy. That you dare to dream. A film to watch, Marriage Story, nominated for six awards. And in the TV category, Jennifer Aniston up for her role in The Morning Show. We are doing this my way. Two years after the start of the Me Too movement, a record number of women brought big films to life in 2019, yet none are being recognized. Oh, Directors like Greta Gerwig oh, for Little Women and Lorene Scafaria for Hustlers, all shut out of the Best Directors category. The Hollywood Foreign Press says it's hoping to raise awareness about climate change. That's why the dinner menu tonight is entirely plant-based. So it looks like the stars will be enjoying mushroom risotto and Brussels sprouts this year. I'm Abby Boudreaux, ABC News, Beverly Hills. Exciting stuff, and actress Cameron Diaz has a big reason to celebrate this new year. She and her husband, Benji Madden, just welcomed a baby girl. Congrats to them. Diaz announced the baby's arrival in an Instagram post, although it did not say when the little one was actually born. The couple also says they won't be sharing any pictures of their daughter, Radix, but they do say she's really cute. We'll have to take her word for it. I'm sure she is. Mm -hmm. And we'll be looking forward to seeing what kind of trends and movies win today because it kind of dictates what people end up watching, right? They I know. Boost. Well, yeah, 
But every time an, uh, there was an Oscar winner, a Golden Globes winner, mm -hmm. I usually haven't seen it, so that's usually my cue to like, oh, I should probably watch it, so I'm caught up, you know? Yeah, and some movie theaters will start playing them again to mm -hmm. capitalize on it. But All right, 7.27 a.m., your top morning headlines coming up. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Pergo Extreme Rigid Vinyl Flooring. It's beauty inspired by nature. And durability inspired by whatever lands on it. If your gums bleed when you brush, you may have gingivitis, and the clock could be ticking towards bad breath, receding gums, and possibly tooth loss. Help turn back the clock on gingivitis with Paradontax. Leave bleeding gums behind. Paradontax. St. Francis Healthcare System is creating something new and exciting. The St. Francis Kupuna Village in Liliha. The former hospital campus is being transformed into a health and wellness community for seniors and their caregivers. Featuring a skilled nursing facility and an array of physicians in different specialties. With future plans for assisted living and independent living and a senior community center. Call today for more information. St. Francis Healthcare System. Creating healthy communities for Hawaii's families. Unapologetic confidence starts with beautiful skin. Don't hesitate. First wax on us. A rock and wreck. Seen it? Covered it. At Farmers Insurance, we know a thing or two because we've seen a thing or two. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Merle Norman's Ultra Powder Foundation has a velvety matte flawless finish with a wide range of shades from light to dark for any skin type. Ultra Powder Foundation, your best foundation forever. Merle Norman. Visit your nearest Merle Norman Cosmetic Studio for your personalized service. At Bougainville Flooring Superstore, we care about finding the right flooring for you. We care about what's important to you in everything we do. Bougainville Flooring Superstore. Now, from KITV4, Island News, this is Good Morning Hawaii. Time now 7.30 right now on Good Morning Hawaii. President Trump issues a new warning to Iran just days after ordering the drone strike against their general. Plus, lost at sea for more than a week, then rescued. A lucky sailor shares his incredible journey across the Pacific exclusively with KITV4. And rules on marijuana possession lighten up in Hawaii. We'll tell you why some lawmakers feel this could be the start of a budding island industry. Good morning, Hawaii. Thank you so much for joining us this beautiful Sunday. Let's begin this half hour in Washington, where President Donald Trump is giving a bold warning to Iran, saying if the nation retaliates, the U.S. is ready to take action. As David Wright reports, this all comes after he made that decision to launch an airstrike, killing a top Iranian military official. Overnight, President Trump ratcheted up the threats to Iran, warning them not to retaliate for the killing of Qasem Soleimani. Let this serve as a warning, he tweeted, that if Iran strikes any Americans or American assets, we have targeted 52 Iranian sites, some at a very high level and important to Iran and the Iranian culture. He made it clear that number 52 reflects the 52 Americans held hostage in Iran after the 1979 revolution. We say no more. That bellicose rhetoric, even as U.S. cities from coast to coast saw scattered protests this weekend. Resist! People concerned Trump has brought us to the brink of another costly war. We've been there, we've done that. It didn't work. We've created terrorists. We've created ISIS. We need to stop. The plans for this attack were reportedly well in the works before New Year's, when the president told reporters at Mar-a-Lago the new year would not bring war with Iran. No, I want to have peace. I like peace. And Iran should want peace more than anybody. The administration reportedly gave Israel advanced warning, but key European allies, some of whom have troops in the region, appear to have been caught by surprise. 
Senator Lindsey Graham told Fox News he was brought into the loop when he played a round of golf with the president earlier New Year's week. I appreciate being brought into the orbit. But the administration did not give Democratic leaders any advanced warning. Last night, the administration finally did deliver the notification required under the 1973 War Powers Act, but classified the document. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi issued a statement, the highly unusual decision to classify this document in its entirety compounds our many concerns and suggests that the Congress and the American people are being left in the dark about our national security. Democrats in Congress are going to have a lot of questions for the administration. And there are also questions about the legality of this strike under international law, at least according to a French human rights expert who reviews extrajudicial killings for the United Nations. In a series of tweets, she raised questions about the Pentagon's rationale for this operation, saying it appears far more retaliatory for past acts than anticipatory for imminent self-defense. David Wright, ABC News, West Palm Beach. And this morning, angry mourners took to the streets during a funeral procession for General Soleimani. Members of the 290-seat Iranian parliament unanimously chanted death to America with raised fists as their late leader's body was returned to southwest Iran. A red flag, symbolic of a declaration of war, was also raised above an Iranian mosque yesterday. The U.S. is now sending more reinforcements to the region, deploying around 3,500 troops from the 82nd Airborne Division and sending additional equipment. Well, now to breaking news, KITV4 is now learning that the Iraqi parliament has voted to expel U.S. troops in the country. Lawmakers approved a resolution today asking the Iraqi government to end the agreement under which Washington sent troops more than four years ago to help fight ISIS. Now, that bill is still subject to approval but has the backing of the outgoing prime minister. Well, meanwhile, it was a big homecoming at Naval Station Norfolk after the USS Leyte Gulf uh, returned from a nine-month deployment overseas. Hundreds of sailors are now back with their families after spending most of their time in the Middle East. The Ticonderoga-class guided missile cruiser left March 27th. It was part of the carrier strike group 12 that supports maritime stability and security. Well, welcome home to them. Mm And turning to the 2020 presidential race, where one Democratic candidate called it quits and another laid off their entire campaign staff. Rick Klein gives us the highlights as the remaining candidates prepare for the Iowa caucuses, now just weeks away. I'm ABC's Rick Klein with the latest in politics this week. It wasn't a happy new year for all the presidential candidates. So today it's with a heavy heart and with profound gratitude that I will suspend my campaign for president. Former HUD Secretary Julian Castro became the latest to exit the race before voting even starts. Author and entrepreneur Marianne Williamson has laid off her entire campaign staff, with the now ex-spokesperson saying her campaign is, quote, no longer viable. Cash flow isn't a problem for some better polling campaigns. Senator Bernie Sanders set his own new record among the Democrats running, bringing in more than $34 million in the last three months of 2019. On New Year's Day, Pete Buttigieg handed over the mayor's office to a successor in South Bend, Indiana. But he was a surprise second place in the money race last quarter, raising close to $25 million. Uh, It shows that we're going to have the resources we need to compete. His haul beat out Joe Biden, who had his best fundraising quarter yet, and Senator Elizabeth Warren though she quickly turned that into a campaign talking point. I didn't spend one single minute uh, uh, selling access to my time to millionaires and billionaires. A sign of fights to come, Sanders told The Washington Post this week that former Vice President Joe Biden brings with him too much, quote, baggage and a record too, quote, weak to defeat President Trump. That brought this response from Biden. Good luck, Bernie. Thanks, guys. Good to see you. Lots of luck in your senior year, Bernie. With just one month to go before the Iowa caucuses, uncertainties abound. President Trump's order to kill an Iranian leader has scrambled foreign policy, and we still don't know when or even if an impeachment trial will take place in the Senate. Rick Klein, ABC News, Washington. 
Interesting times. Well, in other news, Jap uh, Japan's justice minister is calling the escape of a former Nissan CEO inexcusable. Investigators raided the home of Carlos Ghosn earlier this week. He was living there on house arrest while facing financial misconduct charges. But he escaped Japan and is now in Lebanon, where officials say an international arrest warrant has now been received. And back here at home, lighting up a joint will no longer land you in jail. In a week, marijuana will be decriminalized, which means police won't arrest people for possession of pot if they're carrying three grams or less. The new law doesn't go as far as other states, however, where recreational marijuana use is allowed. But former state senator Willis Barrow hopes that will happen soon and says it could be a game changer for Hawaii's econ economy and tourism. Hawaii does have a reputation of producing and growing some of the best cannabis in the world. And if we could take that brand identification of cannabis and, and share it with the world, uh, we have a potential. Under Hawaii's new law, people caught carrying three grams or less will get a citation in place of jail time. State Representative Chris Lee called similar laws in other states a success. All right, well, turning now to weather, here's a live look out at Hilo Bay. Shout out to the Big Island from our camera at Hilo Hawaiian Hotel. The sun finally starting to peak up there. Allison, how's it looking for the rest of your weekend? Hey, Tom, it's looking like a nice sunrise over on the Big Island, but a bit more overcast here in Honolulu and in Kanayohe. We are waking up to mostly cloudy skies, especially for windward areas like we just saw. That morning rain is expected to clear up by our afternoon time with sunnier skies and warmer temperatures. It'll heat up to 84 degrees by our midday, but good thing we have breezy trades to help keep things cool. The strong winds could even push some isolated showers over to leeward areas, giving them a chance of rain there. And more scattered showers are expected for the over night hours. Currently, wind speeds are light here in Honolulu, but we are seeing double digits across the islands. Winds could get as, as high as 30 miles per hour, so that'll help keep things nice and cool and comfortable as we go island by island. Kauai County, partly cloudy for this morning and dry for right now, although there is a chance of rain all day long. On Oahu, a lot of rain here stretching along the windward coast, and for Malka spots as well, at least for the morning hours. Warmer temperatures and sunnier skies for leeward areas. Maui County, that rain stretching from Hana all the way toward Haiku and Kapalua. And on the Big Island, very rainy in Hilo along the Hamakua Coast and all the way down towards Puna too. Sunnier skies out west toward Kona. Here is our extended forecast. We are expecting a bit of a drying trend for the first half of our week before the disturbance rolls in starting Thursday, bringing us more rain and more cloud coverage toward next weekend. It is going to be a breezy day every single day this week, so enjoy those trades while they last. That's a check on your weekend forecast. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Watch, we got a couple more uh, stories real quick before we go to break. And some severe storms left a trail of damage in central Florida. Witnesses tell the National Weather Service they saw a tornado touch down. One city's Little League field and a city water plant were damaged. A part of the roof of an, uh, a VFW hall was also ripped off and thrown into the parking lot. One person walked away with just a scratch after a tree limb came crashing through the roof of his home. In Australia, fire crews are fighting back against the devastating fires that have ravaged the country. Maggie Ruley is there with a first look at what's being called one of the worst days of wildfires in Australia's history. With the people who are here living through this destruction every day tell me they're exhausted, they're scared, and they do not want the world to forget about them. This morning, new images of what could be the worst day of wildfires in Australia's history. Cars driving through highways engulfed in flames Saturday in the desperate race to get out. Fires erupting throughout the southeast, the sky glaring orange and thick with smoke. Steve Price is a firefighter from Idaho. He's one of dozens of Americans who volunteered to come fight these fires. He says they're bigger than anything he's seen before, and Australia needs our help. It's a pretty honorable mission that we have right now and taking it really serious and trying to help them as much as we can. He's here for people like Paula who stayed behind to protect her home. 
We went to check on her after Saturday's blaze tore through her neighborhood. The road to her house was still burning. How are you doing? Thank you. Oh my gosh, what's so good to see you safe. Yeah. Thankfully, Paula and her husband David were able to battle back the flames. It was all in there, all down there. Really? And then it just jumped from the grass and then jumped, just went all the way through. The fires burning through about 15 million acres of land and threatening countless wildlife. Animal Planet's Terry and Robert Irwin from Australia Zoo say it will be a long battle to bring them back. About half a billion animals that whose lives have been lost. There's been so much destruction that we're going to need to really amp up our care for wildlife for years to come. We are getting some better weather here today. The temperature has dropped a full 30 degrees here. We even saw rain showers at one point, but driving down the highway, there are still fires on either side of the road at some point. And the firefighters here tell me that they still have a long way to go. All right, we'll take a look at this video of an incredible rescue at Pipeline on New Year's Day. If you actually take a closer look at that video, you can see the surfer wiping out a lifeguard on a personal watercraft then races out to get the 14-year-old surfer who was held underwater after falling. He was taken to the hospital and is in stable condition. And another rescue to tell you about, a sailor now sharing his survival story after being lost at sea for more than a week. Yeah, he went from nearly losing hope to being reunited with his family in Hawaii over the weekend. From the Pete Brown you see today. This is from the, from on the boat, yeah. So. Looking a lot different than this Pete who started his long journey in November. There's Jimmy over there. Along with his crew, he set sail from Japan to Hawaii. But after hitting rough seas, the mast came dismantled and later a big wave rolled them over. The water was coming up, up, up on her, you know, getting up to waist high and we're still upside down. The boat tipped back upright again, but was damaged. Supplies were getting low. Eventually a boat came by, so they threw up a signal flare. And then it didn't see us and it just kept on going, oh my, we were thinking, oh man, this is, gonna, this is terrible. Eventually they lost all contact and began to fear the worst. Watched the stars and prayed and, and uh, hoped that, that um, either way my family was going to be okay. Finally, days later, another boat. This time they used mirrors to catch its attention and it worked. They were rescued. I was crying I, I, and all of us, everybody, we were all crying on the boat. This video shows that daring rescue. The Coast Guard came and they were taken to Hawaii. Grateful to his rescuers and family and friends from Tennessee who had been desperately trying to find him. Uh, every time I would look at these messages, I would cry just or just, you know, start looking through it. Just the people that were telling stories about me and and um, just a lot of love. The best part, reuniting with his wife and son who just flew in from Taiwan. It was a happy ending and God answered prayer. But there's one more thing before they go home, enjoying a little time together in Hawaii, just in time for his son to turn eight. On the 6th, we'll have a birthday party. You know, it was really great meeting him and his family. Such, a, such an amazing story. And, uh, you know, he said he never gave up hope and, and luckily was able to be rescued. And uh, he said he's actually going to be in town through next week. So family flew in from Taiwan. So that mm -hmm. now that they're all together again, getting a little vacation time before they head back. Yeah, so. such a good ending to what could have been a tragic story. Absolutely, so. yeah. And, 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 and a happy birthday to his son turning right. eight. Happy birthday. All right, the time now, 7.45 a.m. Still ahead, a local store makes keeping those New Year's resolutions. Remember those? <laughs> easy in today's local Yelp segment. Yeah, a lot of people already forgot about those resolutions. <laughs> but first, we're taking a live look outside at Honolulu. Don't go away. Good morning, Hawaii. We'll be right back. Stay up to date on traffic and weather with Tasha Worley. Weekday mornings on KITV4 Island News. Service is my cut-in-law. Himoa, he hoping to and from your heart. Our big on discount service is for sure. Hai nai ya mai kapua na ea. Kawaii kaholo in the cab. We thank you to and from the airport with big discount. Go dial for to do to do to do the cab. It's here. Instant funding online from speedycash.com. Apply for a loan using the Speedy Cash app. If approved, funds apply to your debit card in minutes. Get instant funding from speedycash.com.
7-Eleven Hawaii is giving away a trip for two to Las Vegas to attend the biggest racing event in April. Enter now through February 2nd. Miles provided by Hawaiian Airlines. Enter at all participating 7-Eleven stores statewide where you'll find specials like these. Get your delicious and refreshing tea from Pure Leaf. Real brew tea, never from powder. Two for three dollars. Just born theater box. Select from your favorites. Mega Mix, Mega Mix Sours, Mike and Ike's, Mike and Ike's Zours. Just two for three dollars. Stop in for these specials and more plus enter the Vegas Racing Sweepstakes now through February 2nd. Only at 7-Eleven Hawaii, your neighborhood store. It's here. Instant funding online from speedycash.com. Apply for a loan using the Speedy Cash app. If approved, funds apply to your debit card in minutes. Get instant funding from speedycash.com. InSolid has been in business in Hawaii for 20 years. It specializes in fabricating solid surfaces, especially showers, ideal for bathrooms that can change as we age. InSolid has custom models for exact fits for any space. InSolid products are non-porous and seamless. This means no grout and no place for mold or mildew to grow. Contact us today for a free estimate at 808-676-5522. 808-676-5522. Paul Drews, News and Weather, weekends on KITV4 Island News. This is Good Morning Hawaii. Good morning. It's going to be a wet and windy day to wrap up our weekend. But taking a look at our Doppler radar shows not as much activity compared to yesterday. As we go in for a closer look, starting with the Big Island, you can see some isolated thunderstorms moving off of Hilo with it rain stretching down toward Puna and South Point. Rain expected all day long in our hourly forecast for Hilo with sunnier skies out west toward Kona. Maui County, you can see a band of showers riding in on those easterly trade winds hitting Hana Haiku and Kapalua. And here on Oahu, heavier pockets of rain here hitting windward and Malka spots lingering over the Ko'olau as the rain is expected to clear up by our afternoon time with sunnier skies and warmer temperatures in the low 80s. Kauai, looking at the driest side of all of them, a bit of isolated showers just south off of the shore. Partly cloudy skies, a bit more rain expected by 3 p.m. today. And here's a check on your surf. The winds are whipping up our waves. We have rough and choppy waves for the east facing shores, five to seven footers there and four to seven for the north. We are expecting a large northwest swell to roll in by Friday. So we'll keep an eye out on that for all the surfers out there. And that east wind swell is expected to get worse over the coming days. Could reach advisory levels by Tuesday and near warning levels by our next weekend. Here is our extended forecast. We are expecting a drying trend for the first half of our work week. But as a disturbance rolls in on Thursday, we can expect higher chances of rain and more cloud coverage. That's a check on your weekend forecast. Now here's Annalisa here in studio with our Yelp guests showing us how to eat healthy for the new year. And today on the Yelp segment, this is a very good topic because we just <laughs> finished the holidays and we need to be back in the healthy mode of uh, thinking, yes, right? Yes. Emmy Hart, of course, <laughs> of Yelp. And today we're joined by the Kakua Market Peeps. That is Donna Chang and Meili Tamdasa. Hey, guys. Hello. Thanks nice for having us. And tell us about Kakua Market because I know a lot of us may have seen it but may have not actually been. Yeah. May you want to... Describe the market. Yeah, cool, cool markets. It's a cute little like small spot, and we have a great parking right behind near on King Street and University. It's yeah. like the far a farmers market. Well, tell us about I, mean, it. I like to think like, of Kokua Market as like the great freshness and variety of a farmers market, but with none of the hassle. Mm -hmm. So you know, it's air conditioned. We're open seven days a week. We have an ever changing menu. We've got the freshest and best of local produce and local producers, and we brought some of that for you guys to try today and Tell to show us. people so how they good. can keep their New Year's resolutions to be not only healthier themselves but also have better pra eating practices that are healthier for the planet as well. Yeah. Because Kokua has always been a thought and practice leader in sustainability and low waste and you know all of that low plastic. So let me just um, talk you a bring? little bit about some of the stuff yeah. we brought. Well, from our produce department, if you guys want to try, we've, we have a, we usually have about four or six different kinds of local bananas, Cambodian, African, apple bananas, Williams bananas, and so forth. So we brought some of those today. Mm -hmm. We've got a non-GMO red papaya from Molokai, um, a couple of our house-made granolas. This one's a maple pecan, and we've also got a cacao nib. Um, in our grab-and-go section, so people, um, we have a deli <coughs> with a, which has a restaurant, which is a restaurant takeout kind of situation, but we also have, for people who are super on the go, lots of great options for, for people who are too busy to sit down and have a plate mm -hmm. of food. So we've got our house-made granola yogurt parfait there. We've got house-made um, hummus with the carrot chips if you just need a little mm -hmm. snack. 
Here's a vegan uh, potato salad. Um, our baby versions of our famous hockey pucks, um, mm -hmm. which people call our oat cakes. But that's a great breakfast on the go. It's just 100%, everything's organic. Um, it's an organic oatmeal breakfast that you can have anytime. Mm -hmm. So um, cute. Yeah, so cute. <laughs> and then, um, you know, I just thought also it would be good to highlight one of our local producers. We've got this Wai uh, Waikani egg farmer, Kukui Ani Ani Farms, and you can see our special blue eggs that we get from them. You know that's real. <laughs> that color. Yes, farm fresh and free ranging chickens. Okay. So those are really special. We're the only retailer on Oahu who carries those eggs. So we've got a lot of things like that. We're very small producers. Um, come to us. We our pride is to incubate small producers and first time to retail producers of food and farmers, um, and to provide people with the healthiest, best, freshest food. So. To that point, our deli, so today, every every day our deli menu changes. We've got mm -hmm. essentially two different restaurant operations. We've got a Asian, Thai, Indian operation Monday and Wednesday, Monday through Wednesday. And then Thursday through Sunday, which is what we brought for you today, we've got Mediterranean um, specialty chef. So this is a veggie moussaka that we have, mm -hmm. which is traditionally made with lamb, but we've done a vegetarian version of it. And then here we've got a tofu stack, a roasted tofu stack with roasted Mediterranean vegetables. It's fantastic. And of course, avocado toast. Of course. Made avocado with, uh, you know, because we <laughs> yeah. have to have the avocado yeah, so <laughs> made with some special bread. Yeah, and we've got a Big Island um, for Rakaki that's made on the Big Island with macadamia nuts. This is another product that I believe we're the only people mm -hmm. on Oahu who are carrying this. But um, this bread product is a really cool thing. Um, we have this take and bake product, which is organic. It's got four ingredients, just like you would make it if you were making bread at home. Flour, water, yeast, salt, that's it. Mm. No stabilizers, no chemistry test on the back when you read the ingredient list. Um, but the fantastic thing is this is shelf stable for three, three to four months. Wow. So you can buy this, leave it in your kitchen. You don't have to refrigerate it or freeze it. Have it on hand for when you want a loaf of bread. Mm -hmm. 10 minutes in a 400 degree oven, it is hot and crispy and fantastic so well, you know I was gonna say um, Emmy you know this is a very good message to kick the year off because again we're thinking healthy we're thinking organic environmentally friendly and I guess just uh, tell us a little bit about, about Yelp as well Ellen. yeah so they're doing amazing on Yelp um, 140 reviews four stars um, people just really love that it's a truly local business mm -hmm. um, and I think there's a misconception that there's no parking but there's actually <laughs> a great dedicated parking lot yep. right behind in the market so you can go in and out and it's okay. really easy and very convenient and okay. I you know now that you guys turned me on to it I'm gonna check it out Kokua Market of course on University and King as you said right and uh, that's it so thank you so much for coming on the show Donna and Maylee uh, and we will be back after the break good morning Hawaii we'll be back oh I didn't even get to try Mika Miyashima, weeknights at 6 and 10, only on KITV4 Island News. 7-Eleven Hawaii is giving away a trip for two to Las Vegas to attend the biggest racing event in April. Enter now through February 2nd. Miles provided by Hawaiian Airlines. Enter at all participating 7-Eleven stores statewide where you'll find specials like these. Mix and match your favorite flavored Lay's potato chips, barbecue, classic, sour cream and onion, and wavy original. Two for $6.99. Enjoy Breyer's ice cream and chocolate, vanilla, strawberry, Oreo, or Reese's peanut butter cup. Two for $5. Stop in for these specials and more, plus enter the Vegas Racing Sweepstakes now through February 2nd, only at 7-Eleven Hawaii, your neighborhood store. You've probably heard a lot about CBD. At Medicaid 08, our products are backed by science and tested for purity by third party, offering the highest quality in CBD products for pain management on Oahu. I used to suffer from diabetes, but after taking the oil, I was totally taken off the medication. And I have good news, the product works. Visit us at a location near you and stop hurting today. Lent rocks so you can roll. Still your best choice for Michelin, BF Goodrich, and most of your tire needs. And if your brakes are breaking your bank, come into Lex Brody's and try our Fix Forever Brake Reline Special. Call 949 lex for your appointment. Or visit LexBrody's.com for Super Saver specials and to set a Fast Pass appointment. A Fix Forever Brake Warranty, a four-year unlimited tire mileage warranty, and legendary customer service? Oh, these are just a few ways how Lex rocks so you can roll. Lex Tire Company. Okay, so that was headquarters. We've been made. We got to ditch the car. Yes, let's go.
What are we going to do with the car? We can't just ditch it. Well, they did pay us to save the world. Why don't we start by saving a life? Mahalo for your donation to Kidney Cars. We'll pick up the car from any location. Donate a car, save a life. Call Kidney Cars today for more information. All right, welcome back. Well, Coachella's 2020 lineup has just been announced. That's Pretty right. exciting. Rage Against the Machine will headline Friday nights, Travis Scott on Saturdays, and Frank Ocean on Sundays during the two-week festival. Others scheduled to appear include Calvin Harris, Louis Capaldi, Flume, and Lana Del Rey. Coachella takes place in Indio, California on April 10th through the 12th and the 17th through the 19th. Pre-sale tickets for weekend one are already sold out, but weekend two is still available, so you better hurry. Yeah, people snap those up right away. Yeah, wow. I've been to Coachella yeah. once, but that was before, um, before big was acts <laughs> were yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> so you just seem like... <laughs> original on this like you said I, I was on yeah. it before it was cool <laughs> so there you go yeah and i remember one year beyonce was uh, one of the headliners and that yeah. was like a yeah, huge yeah. one i remember that's when it became mainstream when the big acts come that's yeah, when well, it becomes once mainstream. beyonce was there that's when it really kind of blew up <laughs> i think there's yeah. a netflix special about that one too yeah? yeah yeah well looking forward to what coachella this year has to offer let us know if you end up going all right sounds good thanks for joining us our next newscast will be tonight at five we'll see you then have a great day everybody Experience the bold, crispy, mouth-watering flavors Popeye's Louisiana Kitchen is serving up in each and every bite. Providing closed captioning for KITV4 Island News. St. Francis Healthcare System is creating something new and exciting. The St. Francis Kupuna Village in Liliha. The former hospital campus is being transformed into a health and wellness community for seniors and their caregivers. Featuring a skilled nursing facility and an array of physicians in different specialties. With future plans for assisted living and independent living and a senior community center. Call today for more information. St. Francis Healthcare System. Creating healthy communities for Hawaii's families. In a world where everything gets a sequel, it's finally time for Geico Sequels. Classic Geico heroes starring in six new commercials with jaw-dropping savings. Vote for your favorites at geico.com slash sequels. Uh, which way do I go? I don't know. I'm voting for our sequels. With Geico, the savings keep on going to a screen near you. Dang woodchucks! Geico Sequels. Vote and enter to win today. You know, you don't need to wait on the sun to say good morning, Hawaii. Lots of people are up before dawn, and we are too. Join Good Morning Hawaii weekdays at 4.30 in the morning to get an early start on everything you need for your day.